enjoy this video, then make sure to go ahead and press the like and subscribe buttons. You can also join the channel to receive early access to our videos by pressing the join button below. There's a tab and backing track available for this lesson. You can get those as well as over a hundred others and other benefits by clicking the card or the link in the description for our Patreon site. Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to show you uh, kind of the basic way I learned how to chime, do some chimes. And it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, what we want to think about is that we're letting our finger on our left hand basically take the place of the bar. Now we have some uh, open chimes. I'll call them open chimes. So open is E. If we place our finger at the 12th fret, and in the video I was using my little finger, I'm, just, I'm basically letting that line up exactly with the 12th fret. Now you can practice using your little finger, or if you want to use your index finger, I think with our index finger we would be able to see it better. It looks more like with a bar. Uh, but anyhow, either one will work. So we were going on the backing track, we were going from E, A to B. The main group for each chord was uh, for the E, I played eight, six, five. So I took my little finger, placed it right, just barely touching. So either finger, little finger, right above the 12th fret, barely touching the strings, or index finger right above the 12th fret, barely touching. Okay, so the first one I played was eight, six, five. Now you can touch each string individually or you can just lay your finger across all, all of them. I played eight, six, five, six, five, four. So I did that at the 12th fret with either finger. Okay, that's an E chord. I can press my A and B pedals, do the same exact thing. That's going to be an A chord. Now I can release the pedals, engage just the knee lever, play eight, seven, five. Now press the B pedal down and play six, five, four. B pedal, E, D flat, knee lever. Okay, that plays over a B seventh chord. So we went E, A, B, back to E. Okay, now the last one I did, I played the B chord at the seventh fret, and I chimed nine, seven, nine, seven, six, and then I played six, five, four here at the seventh fret. That plays over the B chord. So I had E and A here at the 12th. Okay, and the progression is E, A, B. So let's look at this a little bit. Uh, Jake's got the uh, camera view going for us. You're thinking about your fingers are replacing the bar. So when you're playing with a bar, to be as true as you can, you, you try to line up exactly over the fret marker. So we have these harmonics at the uh, 5th, 7th, and 12th. Okay, 
So we have those open like that with no bar using our finger. But in this one, the, the main one that you can hear, the loudest one is at the 12. Okay, so we have those chimes that we can do at the 12th, the 7th, and the 5th. So you can work with those. And it doesn't really matter what finger. Like I said, if you use the index, you can see it easier, I think. And just work with those. This is just an easy way to start. Just start here at the 12th, working with those, going E, A, B. And work with your major groups. The only thing you do different is on the B chord, you add that seventh. But the rest of them, you're just using those, you know, you could use 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3. So when you do the B chord with your B pedal, E, D, flat, knee lever, you can just add that seventh string. All right, so give these a try. Like I said, it's just something you have to work with. It's, it's a touch thing, but just know that the 12th fret is uh, for our purposes now is probably the easiest ones to get. It's a little more tricky here at the seventh to get that B one. But it's, it's something that's doable. You just have to practice and work on it. All right, so give these a try and let me know what you think. All right, thanks for checking out the videos. Hope you enjoyed them. Just want to take this opportunity to thank our supporters on YouTube and Patreon, especially our Tier 3 supporters, Jim, Gary, M. Metlock, and William. So thanks again, and keep picking.